Uh, the time now is 6:12. I don't know how your Easter weekend was, but mm -hmm. I'm guessing with little Millie Joe, you had a great first Easter for. Her. Oh, it was great. I mean, mm -hmm. we had her on the table and we had a little Easter basket for her, and mm -hmm. it's just to see the look on her face of all the new stuff. She's like, "Ooh, <laughs> what's all this?" Right. Of course, she wanted to chew all of it, but right? naturally she would. <laughs> yeah. Right. Our kids went running for the hills on our Easter egg hunt through the mountains out there on Antelope Island. Yeah, literally running yeah. through the hills. Yeah, yeah, it was great, and the weather was great for that too. I mean, it was beautiful. I mean, mm -hmm. yesterday we got up to 68 degrees in Salt Lake. Mm -hmm. We're likely going to cross that 70 degree threshold. And if you're keeping track, the last time we saw a 70 degree day in Salt Lake was October 21st, 2022. I don't even know what that feels like. It's anymore, been a right? while. <laughs> no and, that, and that warming trend will continue into our Tuesday, mainly dry skies for now. But even though we're going to be talking about relatively calm weather because of the high sun angle, and the warmer temperatures, we do have avalanche concerns. We'll talk more about that in just a minute, but we are scheduled to have some changes arrive by the middle and second half of the work week. Now, earlier this morning, we were talking about the avalanche warning that we had for the mountains and the foothills in northern Utah. That has been now extended until 6 o'clock in the morning on our Tuesday. So the avalanche danger will rise as we go through today as we see that sun angle continue to increase. This includes the backcountry in the mountains and the foothills. Avoid slopes over 30 degrees. Stay clear of avalanche runouts across the board and make sure that you are taking necessary precautions if you do plan on going through the backcountry. And also with the warmer temperatures, folks still wondering about the runoff and the flooding concerns. We still have that flood watch for Northeast Nevada. This continues through tomorrow evening. At this particular juncture, there are no flood watches or warnings for the Beehive State, Southwestern Wyoming or southeastern Idaho. So when it comes to our flooding concerns in Utah, while wide, widespread flooding is not expected at this particular time, some rivers will be running high, swift, and cold, and we've already seen that play out. Enhanced runoff primarily in the lower elevations thanks to those warmer temperatures, but the slot canyons may become inundated with runoff mainly down in southern Utah. So something that you want to keep in mind, maybe if you're going to the Mighty Five, avoid those backcountry hazards and clear deep snow from foundations and clear those drainage paths as well. And we'll continue to keep you posted on any flooding concerns when it comes to the Beehive State. But for here's the view from Alta where it looks absolutely incredible. Still a lot of snow there, but as mentioned, the avalanche concerns will be high. But look how pretty that is with the moon getting ready to set behind Albion Basin. Really doesn't get much prettier than that. And then we have a beautiful sunrise that's about to be underway across the state, starting off in southeastern Utah and Blanding. But right now, those temperatures, they're much on the, they're much so on the mild side of things. As we're sitting at 49 degrees currently in Salt Lake, you can get away with wearing a sweater. 51 degrees currently in St. George. It's a bit chilly in Logan at 33, but drastically different compared to what we were talking about this time last week. So if you're going to take your dog for a walk, morning probably the great best time to do so. But this afternoon, not going to be too bad either. By 2 o'clock this afternoon, we'll be right on the doorstep of 70 degrees and likely going to cross that 70 degree mark, getting into the low and mid 70s for a lot of spots along the Wasatch Front. Some might only top out in the upper 60s, like in Ogden at 68, but 74 degrees in Salt Lake, 73 degrees in Spanish Fork. But even look at the Wasatch back, low 60s in Park City. So that's going to be a pretty warm day in the Wasatch back, but very pretty and very spring like. 67 degrees for a high in Nephi, 72 degrees in Richfield, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies up and down the state, 78 degrees in Lake Powell, maybe a great day to get out on the boat. 60 degrees in Bryce Canyon and 87 degrees in St. George. Going to be a little bit toasty across the southwest desert. Now, as we begin the long range future cast, the reason our weather is quiet is because we have that high pressure in place for right now, but that high pressure moves from west to east and for tomorrow. Those winds will continue to accelerate out of the south, so tomorrow will actually be warmer than today and we'll be challenging some record high temperatures for our Tuesday. But that high pressure will continue to move away to the east, opening up the door to a system coming in from the Pacific Northwest. Wednesday still going to be another warm day, but temperatures will start to trend downward. And then by Thursday into Friday, a cold front works its way through. This will bring us the chance for wet weather with the best chance mainly being in the northern two thirds of the state and temperatures will be below our seasonal averages for our Thursday and Friday. But as that system clears into this weekend, high pressure will be Begin, begin to build back in and we'll go back on another warming trend in St. George. We get mid to upper 80s today. We could be right on the doorstep of 90 degrees for our Tuesday. Then we're back down to the middle 80s on Wednesday. Clouds will increase looking mostly dry down in St. George. Then it's daytime highs in the 70s into this upcoming weekend before we're back in the 80s by our Sunday. Then on the Wasatch front low to mid 70s for today, only dropping to around 50 degrees into tonight. Then it's mid to upper 70s for our Tuesday, upper 60s for our Wednesday, bringing in the chance for showers for our Thursday into Friday. Just going to be a chance for scattered showers by the looks of things at this particular point. And then by, by this upcoming weekend, our daytime highs back in the 60s with mostly sunny skies and getting close to 70 degrees by Sunday. But